Yo, what up? Today, we're gonna be reacting to Madison Beer, Glimpse of Us in the Live Lounge, a cover. We haven't reacted to Madison Beer here in a while. I know I get comments from you guys all the time. So we're gonna do it today. I think she's actually gonna be performing near me sometime soon. I swear I saw her name, but let's see what's good. Oh, she got a violin. Violinist. Ooh. She take the world off my shoulders if it was ever hard to move. She turned the rain to a rainbow when I was living in the blue. Ooh, that's such a cool little crack there. She has such a a, a, a warm, round sounding voice. I don't recall it. Some something I can't quite put my finger on. Quite yet. Something cool going on here. Why then if she's so perfect, do I still wish that it was you? Uh. Perfect don't mean that it's working, so what can I do? Ooh, I really, really, you know what I really like about it? This right now is, is I like her very, very fluttery sounding vibrato mixed with that very sultry airy tone that she has it gives it a little bit of like this uh sophisticated angst Perfect. Do I still wish that it was you it was you it has this uh, right sort of like i imagine it like her voice is is coming through a cave she has this like cave in her mouth that is creating the dark tone but it's not it's not thick and full you know what i'm saying it's like a little e you know what i'm saying when you're in my mind oh! <laughs> sorry <laughs> something for you at home right when it comes to getting those low notes, this is a very common problem across the board. Although I do find it is generally more of an issue when it comes to female singers, because a lot of times women don't talk down here, whereas men tend to talk at the bottom of their range far more often, mostly due to cultural norms. But anyway, something to note is how her higher notes get a bit brighter and a bit eh. My, my, my. Ah, uh, has a little bit of this brightness to it, right? But the low notes, oh, it gets this very deep, uh, low sound to them. And that's because that's what you need to do in order to get your low notes. Generally speaking, you're, you want your larynx to come down, which is this dude out here, oh, to get those low notes to come out and to be nice and nice and full and for your voice not to, hey, just bottom out. Sorry. Okay. We're going to let her, we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to be quiet. Sometimes I look in her eyes And that's where I find A glimpse of us uh. And I try to fall for the touch But I'm thinking of the way it was Said I'm fine, I said I moved on I'm only here passing time in her eyes Hoping I'd find a glimpse the flutter you would not believe me if i told you should i keep talking i don't know i don't know if i should tell me he savors your glory does he laugh the way i did yeah. is this all part of a story one that i will never This is such a perfect song for her, dude. Maybe you'll start slipping slow and find me again. Mm. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> I don't know if this will make sense. I'm gonna start getting a little bit more esoteric in my videos because it's fun, right? Imagine 
as she's going through this chorus, what her voice is actually doing is, like I said, it's that little tiny slither in the hallway, like a hot dog in the hallway. Yikes. <laughs> Can't say that. But it's this little, it's this, it's this little, it's this thing in the cave. And she's holding on to this little, what am I saying? Huh? It's this E, this, and then you add the cave. E. That makes sense? Her voice is actually quite small. What is sort of creating the illusion of fullness in her sound. And I don't mean this in a negative sense, by the way. I'm saying this for people at home. We're trying to learn how to sing this song. This is how I talk in my lessons, right? I like using these words because it helps demystify things. Where you're like, oh, it's an illusion of this. It's a, you know, they're creating this by doing that little thing in a cave. tip that I have for getting that, you know, the depth, right? Because it, it, the easy part of this sound is the said I moved on eh, ah, is getting that part. The hard part is then to to create the cave. One tip that I have is to relax as much as possible as you're doing it. I'm only here passing time in her oh. You get this thing, huh? And actually, I think that's something that Madison has done a really, really great job of, to my recollection. So you go back six years, she ha doesn't really have the, as much of the cave, right? She has more of just the bright tone. Don't you know that you're taxi? Yeah. Then we move ahead to two years ago. I you what I can. Now you can start to hear that cave, yeah? Now we got this glimpse of us cover where I think she's really, really refined that cave. That's how tricky singing is, dude. You got to do all these crazy, weird things to, to make the words sound a particular way. It's wild. None of this, by the way, takes away from how magical this, this cover is. One of the best ones I've heard. best covers I've heard and I did a whole video reacting to a bunch of covers of this particular song I think right really good she has this way of it's not really like a belty song right it's not like a powerhouse huge song so it can be tricky to get those notes and have it fit in the, the theme and the, the meaning of the song, but she really finds a way to hit those notes in a way that's impressive and has volume, but without being overwhelming. Does that make sense? so cool dude anyway hopefully you liked my reaction if you did hey you better subscribe to the channel check me out over on my patreon four bucks and there's some singing technique information over there i'm hoping to put some more up there very soon some more info but yeah until next time tristans and tristram peace